What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit of what I love to do, that is theorize and speculate a little bit here with this. Now, what we're gonna be doing with this one is talking about DLC 4. Now, we've known DLC 3 is out, Garad Crowley was awesome, as well as the rest of the multiplayer maps were absolutely insane. So, I love this map pack, but it's time to look forward to the future a little bit here because I'm really hyped personally to know what happens in DLC 4 for zombies to see what all goes down with the easter egg and how the storyline will conclude all that kind of stuff but for those of you guys that are in the multiplayer aspect this still pertains to you as well and it's still relevant information so with that said before we get too far into it if you guys want to drop a like down below if you enjoy this at any point in time it would be greatly appreciated and if you guys want to follow me over on twitter to stay connected that's probably the best place to do so but with this, let's talk about the DLC. Well, we're gonna first have to take a look at some of the different occurrences here within the marketing strategy for Black Ops 3. This is where we can really start to get the basis of a date, a solid date that is for DLC 4's release. Let's first paint the image by saying that Black Ops 3's marketing strategy follows nearly identical to that of Black Ops 2's in terms of DLC release and the time intervals between that. So let's first take a look at Black Ops 2. Revolution, the first DLC pack, dropped on January 29th of 2013 and then it was followed by Uprising the second pack on April 16th of 2013 that was 77 days so in between Uprising DLC 2 and Vengeance DLC 3 that was another 77 days bringing Vengeance's release to July 2nd of 2013 now Apocalypse the final DLC pack only had a shorter time of 56 days in between that of DLC 3 and DLC 4 so let's go jump over to Black Ops 3 then at this point. DLC 1 Awakening dropped on February 2nd of 2016, followed by Eclipse on April 19th of 2016. That was another 77 days. We first thought that this was actually going to be the same case once again for DLC 3, but it was then 84 days in between DLC 2 and DLC 3, as our initial predictions of 77 days were one week off. So that said, that's still going to have to equal the same amount of time here, and that would then bring that down to another 56 days in between DLC 3 and DLC 4, like we saw with Black Ops 2, and would take us to September 6th. Now, if that's not enough to convince you here with this, why September 6th will be the release date for Black Ops 3's final DLC, well, let's take into consideration a few other things. DLC always drops on a Tuesday. It hasn't really changed too much up. There might have been an occurrence here and there where it does. Some of the reveals do fall on Thursdays and a few days that seem like oddities, but DLC itself normally drops on Tuesdays. Let's think about this also then in the early access phase. A lot of you guys may know that a lot of YouTubers go out and record DLC early. DLC 4 is probably going to be a little bit different where they're not out there the week before, but rather a few days before the release of DLC 4. And there probably won't be too much time to post the content, but it'll still happen. But regardless, the people that are going out to record the DLC may potentially be out there the week before, but they also could be going with COD XP because that is a few days earlier than our September 6th launch like we think here with this and that is actually where all of you guys, if you have the chance to go out to COD XP, can play DLC 4 early along with Infinite Warfare, Infinite Warfare Zombies mode, and a lot of the other cool stuff that goes along with it. Now that said, if DLC is open to the public, they obviously can't get everybody there to sign NDAs like they do with a small group of YouTubers that happens whenever you go out there. So. Chances are a lot of secrets will be spilled. A lot of people will be talking about the game modes, the maps, the Easter eggs, everything that goes along with the new DLC. And to minimize the amount of leaks that are out there, well, it would just make a lot more sense to release it right after the event is done. And if you think about it in that perspective as well, the most immediate Tuesday that follows thereafter is Tuesday, September 6th. So with that said, it looks like all signs point to September 6th for a DLC 4 reveal, and that also gives players on Xbox One as well as PC enough time to get some of the DLC in before Infinite Warfare's launch. Granted, it's still another 30 days after, so it's going to push it back into October, but that still gives players time and really is still right in the general time frame of when the final DLC pack for players that are on the consoles that don't have the exclusivity deals for Call of Duty. So it makes sense in all assets, I think, here September 6th is the one that points 
points out the most to me, and I think that this is going to be our finalized date here. It is still possible this could be wrong, but it seems once again like all signs point to September 6th. So keep your calendars open, make sure you maybe take a couple days off work if you really want to grind the DLC. I know I'm going to be doing that whenever the DLC comes out, so we're going to have a lot of cool content, and I honestly can't wait. I'm excited, but nonetheless, that's going to wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that September 6th will be our date for DLC 4, or do you think it could be some other date? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, be sure to like rating down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, so every little bit does help, and is of course greatly appreciated, but my name is Nicole I'll see you guys later. Take care, and peace.